All right, lesson 30, addition using compound complementary numbers in the hundreds column. All right, at this point, I don't think you're having trouble with this at all. You're probably not even, I don't know. I shouldn't, you're probably mad at me for even acknowledging that there might even be a problem. You're probably saying, just get on with it. I want to get past this so we can do a subtraction. All right. Well, let's just get past this. Let's do the hundreds column so we can move into the compound complementary numbers doing subtraction. All right, so set the number 267 on your abacus. 267. There it is, 267 on your abacus. And we were going to add to that the number 165. 267 plus 165. All right, well, we start over here in the hundreds column. You know that. And the first one is a piece of cake. Wow. There's the one of 165. We need to add six here. Oh, I like sixes. They're easy. It just goes, there's a lot of just moving one beats. Boom, boom, boom. All right, piece of cake. And what was the last number again? Last, oh, a five. All right. Hmm. Piece of cake. There we go. We subtract five there and add one there because the complement, when we're adding five, we subtract the complement and the complement to the number is five. So we slide that away and carry one over or add one in the next column. So what is it? 267 plus 165 is a four, a three, and a two. 432. All right, let's do another one. Here we go. Let's do 851 plus... 69, a 8, 5, and a 1. All right, there we go. 851 plus 69. So the number 69 has a 0 in the hundreds column, so we don't do anything there. We add a 6 in the tens column. All right, we like 6s. It's just boom, 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 piece of cake. And we need to add a 9 here. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, yeah, complementary numbers. We're adding, so we subtract the complement and add one in the next column over. There it is. Looks like our answer is... Our answer is what? Oh, there's a 9, a 2, and a 0. 920. 851 plus 69 is 920. 920. All right, let's do the next one. Let's do 770 and 7 plus 166. So a 7, 7, 7, 777 plus 166. So we start over here in the hundreds column and we add a 1. And in this column we add a 6. Oh, we know how to do that. Bang, bang, oops, bang, bang. And then we do it again here. Oh, yeah, that was a fun one. I kind of like doing that one. So our answer is a 9, a 4, and a 3. 777 plus 166 is 940 and 3. All right, that's kind of fun. I like going boom, 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 boom. It starts making you feel like you're, you're an abacus whiz. All right, 173 plus 572. A 1, a 7, and a 3. So 173 plus 572. Well, we start over here in the hundreds column. All right, that's a piece of cake. We just added 5 in the hundreds column. Adding a 7 in the tens column. Hmm. All right. The complement to the number 7 is 3, and 3 with respect to 5 is 2. So we add 2, bang, bang. All right can handle that. Not too big of a deal. And we're going to add a 2 in this column. Hmm. All right. Well, well, what do I do? What do I do? What technique do I use? Oh, yeah. There's already 3 here. Those 2 and 3 are complex, so I just bang, bang. All right. There it is. 173 plus 572 is a 7, a 4, and a 5. 745 is the answer. 
All right, here we go. Let's do a couple more of these, and I think you're, you'll be getting it. Let's do 481 plus 262. Okay, let's do a 4, a 8, and a 1. 481 plus 262. All right, so, uh, all right, okay, we need to add a 2 here. Oh, 4, uh, what do we do? Okay, uh, there's a 4 here. How, how do I add 2 to that? Mm, complementary numbers. All right, the, uh, I think it's, I use with respect to 5, so. Uh, take away 3, add a 5. Oh, yeah, that's it, that's it, I remember. I didn't forget it. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Uh, now we need to add a 6 in the tens column. Oh, yeah. That's going to use. That's going to be this one. Boom, boom, boom. And I need to add a 2 here. Oh, wow. I panicked for a second. Could it really be this easy? I think it is. Hmm. All right. 481 plus 262 is a 7 a four, and a three. 743, 41 plus 262 is 743. All right, one more of these, and I think you will, you will be set to go, and we can move on to subtraction. All right, let's do 258 plus 585. So set the number 258 on your abacus. 258. There it is, a 2, a 5, and an 8. And we are going to add to that the number 585. All right, first column, hundreds column, piece of cake. Bang. Yeah, I like that. Next column, 8. Oh, got to think a little more. All right, 8. Uh, the complement to the number 8 is 2. Okay, so I go like that. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to just move one. I didn't add two and subtract one. But okay. All right. And then we need to add the number five in the ones column. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Looks like that. So there's our answer. 258 plus 585 is an eight, a four, and a three. 843. All right, if you followed along with that, I think you can pretty much add any number that you want to. With all these skills that you've learned so far, it doesn't matter how big it is or how many times you carry a number over, you have all the skills that you need to add any number on the abacus. So go print this off, or go print off your worksheet, work through the problems, and then maybe carry around your abacus. See if you can just make up a problem. Add any number together. See if you can do it. That'll be the fun part. See? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you're into Pokemon and you, <laughs> you want to go get out. See if you can use your abacus instead of a calculator or abacus instead of your head to add numbers together. Get those PowerPoints together and, and see, see what it takes to see if you can add just any number you can imagine. Add them together on the abacus. And when you're done, come back. And let's learn how to do subtraction using comp compound complementary numbers.